All right, all right, all right. Live from 304 Studios in Jonesboro, Arkansas. This is an stspod.club production. How's everybody doing on a Saturday afternoon? Saturday means... Well, it means Memphis Wrestling. This is episode five, 758 of stspod.club and episode 136 of Rolling Into Mempo. Here's what I want you guys to do. Go to our Patreon site. Go to stspod.club, and in the right-hand corner, you can go to our Patreon site and join for only $5. We have unedited Patreon versions of everything on stspod.club. I also have some t-shirts available. You can see them over here. Yeah, over there. Rolling into Mempo t-shirts, Lane Dynasty t-shirts for a limited time, and also stspod.club. It's a wrestling podcast, brother. T-shirts. That's right. Go to stspod.club, link of all links, DM me on one of my social media accounts, and I will ship it directly to you. And I promise you, you will get a prize with that shirt. One of those cups up there, a button, a button and a cup, you'll get something along with that. We had a new episode of The Best of the Best with Austin Lane. Austin and I talked about uh, his title win over Bosby, and we actually watch it. Y'all got to go to at Memphis Wrestling uh, YouTube page or go to the main feed, stspod.club, and listen, watch, or watch along Austin Lane against Tim Bosby. All right, if this is the first time you've ever watched this show, listen to us. We do hits. Mrs. MVP, question of the week, what's happening and must see. Now to the upcoming events and on with the show. Memphis Wrestling is live. Join us for our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's. This Sunday, watch AEW Wrestle Dream. Then, next Saturday, October 7th, watch WWE Fastlane. It's free at Dave & Buster's in Memphis. Sunday, October 8th, the Memphis Wrestling Halloween Spooktacular is going to be bigger than ever. Gangrel, Cool, Crazy Steve, and Kevin Thorne. Reserve your seat early or else. Save $5 with the code HALLOWEEN at checkout. Sunday, October 29th, AEW superstar Prince Nana is coming to Memphis Wrestling. Sunday, November 19th, Impact Wrestling stars Josh Alexander and Eric Young are coming to Memphis Wrestling. All tickets are on sale now. Get yours right now at memphiswrestling.tv. Hit, hit, hit. First of all, Maria's back. That's got to be a hit. Hit, hit, hit. And then we started the show hot, guys. Five-star, five-way, smoking toe, and Geo Savage against the L.A. Hustlers, against Cage and Big Swole, against Matt Williams and Gaston, against well, the tag team champs. That's right. It was a tag team title match in a five-star, five-way, fun, fun match, all kinds of crazy stuff going on. Uh, we had a double suplex, a double, some double team moves, flying from the top turnbuckle, smoking d- toe dive, a Ray Ray flip, uh, the, and they finished it off. DK and Ray Ray retaining the belts with a super kick frog splash finisher. I love this. I love this a lot. It was a really good b- bunch of hits in that one match. Uh, we got some clips of Too Cool 2 about them returning. I really like uh, what Memphis Wrestler does with this. They show the clips, and then we get something new. The Posse did a promo there. Uh, Apparently, we're going to have Posse against Too Cool 2 next week. Awesome, awesome, awesome. During all this, we also had some Mid-South Fair clips. Mid-South Fair clips, as I've always said, Memphis Wrestler does these little things perfect. We heard about the uh, Mid-South Fair last week. We see the clips this week. Love, love, loved it. Uh, big hits, big hits. Uh, we had Austin Mulatali 
There we go. Austin Molotali. How how good did I do there? I, I'm always screwing up that name. Uh, with Brandon Beretta, they were doing a promo backstage, and all of a sudden they want to fight each other. Uh, and then we got that match. Uh, they went at it. It was a decent match. Those two guys are really young. It'll be interesting to see what they end up doing with them. Uh, we had Cobra look like he was backstage filling out paperwork now. I'm not sure what is going on there. What's happening, Cobra? What's happening with that? I don't know. Uh, Bosby and MKZ backstage promo talking about their out for revenge against the Lane Dynasty. Austin and Nikki, that's going to be fun, fun, fun guy. Big hit, big hit there. Uh, Righteous Path came out, Brother Bruce. Ash Taylor and Triple R. Uh, he said he still, Ash Taylor said he still wants Big John Dalton to join them. Um, uh, I love it. I love, love, love it that Taylor actually brings his own podium out there and does commentary. Uh, we had Triple R against a new guy, Eric Fallen, the Hell Archer. That's right, the Hell Archer, Eric Fallen. Nice, nice. Quick match there. Uh, I really – Eric Fallen has a good look, and you, you guys know I like Triple R. Uh, we had a backstage with Barbus, the producer now, trying to be uh, producing, being manager for LA, for the L.A. Hustlers. You know, he came out during that uh, five-star five-way with them. Uh, and then uh, JTG was backstage. And uh, he was trying to get JTG to join him. So I don't know what was going on there. It's just really funny watching Barmas do all this stuff. And he is so good on the microphone. We then had Hollywood Jimmy come out. And uh, Van Vicious, they called out uh, Fred Rosser. And Rosser came out. And we had the challenge there, guys. The challenge of Van Vicious against uh, Fred Rosser from New Japan. Just Fred is an excellent worker. I haven't really seen him in a bad match, and this was a really good match too. Big thumbs up, big hit for Van Vicious in this match too. Uh, awesome, awesome. I loved it. Good way of putting Fred over and putting Vicious over. Vicious tapped out at the end. Hit, hit, hit. All right, guys, that was the hits. The hits for week 136. Misses, misses for week 136. Come on, championship committee. Aren't you supposed to be talking to me? Me? You put the tag team champs in a match with four other teams? Now, I love the five-star uh, five-way there. I love that. I love that concept. But defending the belts? Thank God. Thank God. Ray Ray and DK are still champs. My miss for the week, boo to the championship committee. That was our miss for week 136. MVP. MVP for week 136. I got to give it to him. I got to give it to Van Vicious. Van Vicious has been improving since day one. He goes after the title. He gets beat. He Everything he does, he loses in. But let me just tell you, he's improved so much, and that main event was a really good match. My MVP, even though he's on the losing end, was Van Vicious for week 136. <laughs> All right, we're up to question, question of the week. Abby Fan writes, I recently discovered the show on the WMC5 app. I grew up in Memphis, in the Memphis area and was a big fan. I've been going through all the old episodes and thought I would send in a fun question. This is a fun question. A candy company contacts UBT and you could design a candy bar based on a Memphis wrestler. Oh, wow. What would it be and who would it be? Now, this, this could be going in all kinds of directions. I've thought of five stars, 
I don't know, five star Starbucks burst or something like that. Uh, I thought of all kinds of things, but I, I tell you what I'm going to do there, Abby fan. And I appreciate you call, uh, writing in. You can call a ride. If you call, we'll put you on the uh, episode and you can hear your voice on the episode right there, right there, right there. And that's the email address for all of the questions of the week. Here we go. Here's my candy bar. Well, this is going to be a candy bar, but it's going to be a protein candy bar, and we're going to call it Big Swole. That's right. Big Swole, the protein bar. How's everybody like that? Hey, I thought about that one, guys. All right, guys. Question of the week. That's question of the week for week 136. All right, what's happening? What's happening for week 136? I already mentioned it. Mentioned both of what happenings. What happenings? The posse against Too Cool 2 next week. What's happening with that? The posse against Too Cool 2. And what's happening with King Cobra? Last week's walking around. This week he's filling out paperwork. What's happening? What's happening? Week 136. All right. Must see. Must see for week 136. Go out of your way to watch the five-star, five-way tag team match. All kinds of fun stuff, as I mentioned earlier in the dives outside the ring. I mentioned earlier in the episode, dives outside the ring. All kinds of fun stuff. And... We had the champions retaining, which they should have, even though they were put against the, their backs were against the wall with all those teams. But a very, very fun match, exciting, must see, must see for the week would be the five star five way for the tag team belts. Week 136. All right. I know y'all know what I'm fixing to say. Same bad time, same bad channel. On the best little wrestling podcast in the business, be there. And as everyone knows, I love my mama. <laughs>